Hello, my beautiful MK Love fam, and welcome back to another episode of Weekly Angel Guidance. If you're new here, my name is Melanie Kate Love. I make videos every single Sunday or Monday, depending on where you are in the world, helping you to deal with the energies associated with the week ahead. Now, this week, it's gonna be from May 13th to the 19th, and we're going through three phases of the moon. And this week, it's kind of tricked me up about what to call some of the faces of the moon because, well, the affirmation associated with it, because I have been going through a massive transformation um, and really analyzing my menstrual cycle with the faces of the moon. And when it comes to the full moon, which is what we will have either on Saturday or on Sunday, depending on where you are in the world, I have a deck from my beautiful friend, Jo, and she has on her deck, Celebrate. Now for a very long time in her old deck, it was Release. I now see why she changed it because I'm now seeing the full moon as a time of celebrating, which is the time when your menstrual cycle, if it is in sync, which mine isn't just yet, but I am working to get back into alignment. This is a time where you are ovulating and you're releasing your egg and you are celebrating your divine feminine and you're celebrating this new fabulous creation in which you are creating, whether this is a child, whether this is a creative project, whatever it is going on in your life, I just feel like there's a lot that is changing. And it's so interesting because for years I have been reading the phase of the moon with this, 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 and this. And now when I'm thinking about it in terms of like ovulating and menstruating, I'm now seeing that the full moon, which is what I was calling the release, which is now what I would relate to the new moon, releasing things that don't serve you. And I don't know what each of these moon phases are gonna be called, or what I'm gonna be using the word associated with it or the affirmation. So just bear with me. I don't know. If, I don't know. Let's just go with it. I'm kind of like in this massive transition and it just occurred to me. I'm like, oh, why have I been putting off this video for three days to film it? Because I, I really don't know what I need to tell you yet. I'm kind of like had this big aha moment and trying to figure it out. So you're welcome to help me. Um, but yeah, so based on my notes, from Monday to Tuesday, we're in the first quarter of the moon. This is the action phase of the moon. And I have noticed for me, because I'm actually filming this on the day that it's going out, because I've delayed this video for so long, that, well, the action phase of the moon, which is the time when you literally start doing the things that you have planned out. And this is a really, really creative time. This is a really powerful time. And this is a time where you don't just sit around. This is when you feel inspired. And the affirmation I have is I take inspired action and allow it to flow with ease. So then we go on to Wednesday to Friday, we have the waxing gibbous moon. This is asking us to trust, to trust the process as everything is working out for you. Then on Saturday and Sunday, well, depending on where you are in the world, we have the full moon in 27 degrees of Scorpio. Now the affirmation I usually would have for this one is I release anything or anyone that no longer serves my highest good. But I feel like it doesn't fit. This is a celebration. I'm not sure what I'm gonna put with that one. But let me have a look Have a look on the screen right now and I'll tell you the time in which the full moon is going to occur for you. So LA, this is going to be your Saturday, 18th of May at 2.11 p.m. New York, this will be 5.11 p.m. London, this will be 10.11 p.m. New Delhi, this will be your Sunday, the 19th of May at 2.41 a.m. Brisbane, 7.11 a.m. and Auckland, 9.11 a.m. <clears throat> I'm feeling throat chakra <clears throat> as I was reading those ones out. So I wonder what that's going to mean when I do the full reading. So yeah, so we are taking action, we're trusting and we're celebrating. That is a lot for the week and I'm so interested to hear what comes up with the cards. As you guys know, if you've been watching, I use the Shadowscapes Tarot to give you a general reading. So just, <clears throat> ooh. Just take from this what feels best for you. 
communication could be on the cards. So let's see what we need to know for Monday and then we'll just go with it. Oh, also, I went shopping yesterday and I found this cup. Married in 2019 and it's as big as my head. So I just had to put that in the shot for today. Okay, by the way, loving British tea again. Okay, oh, okay, this is looking good. Okay, so for Monday, we have the Queen of Pentacles, which is so interesting. Talking a lot about the divine feminine. So the Queen of, of Pem Pentacles is the mother. Pentacles is the abundance. So it's mothering abundance. This is very stable. This is very grounded. This is very orchestrated. It took you a lot to get to where you are in order to take action. This is... And you have the sun above you. So it's like, it's light, it's a lightness. She's holding something in her hands. And then I heard she's got the whole world in his, oh, in his hands. Hmm. Why is it his and not her hands? I don't know, her hair kind of looks like the mane of like a tiger. Like she's very like that inner wisdom, that inner strength. You're taking action. You've become the queen. You had to go through a lot. There was a lot of planning. There was a lot of delays and you have gotten to a stage where you're like, I am fabulous and I have to, I have to put this out in the world. I have to do this because I have no choice. It's like, you just feel compelled. You feel this drive to do this thing that sets your soul on fire. Oh, speaking of fire, look at all of these cards that just came over. So the first one that I saw is another queen. Cause I'm the queen of the night, oh yeah. Okay, so Tuesday we have the queen of cups. Queen, again, being the mother, but this is also freedom. This is emotional freedom. Cups is your emotions. This is emotional freedom. You're feeling emotional freedom because this has been something that has been like boiling up for a long time and you're just releasing it and it feels good. It feels in alignment. You are in the flow. Whoa, the other card that I just saw is the King of Cups. There is a lot. Three, four. Five. Okay, I'm not gonna, I've just seen all of those now. Does that mean I have to share them? I'm gonna leave it. What do I do? They're telling me no, as in don't show them. Ah, oh, am I out of sync? The fact that on Tuesday we had the King and the Queen of Cups, what the heck? Okay, I'm just gonna shuffle them. So, Wednesday is trusting the process. That was very direct. Ooh, okay, so the Four of Swords, which is interesting. The Four of Swords is like the coffin position, which is the rest. So it's like you're working and you're like, boom, 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 boom. You have to take time to rest. It's like working smarter and not harder. It's interesting because when I see this in the trusting phase, it's like, yeah, there's still a lot of work to do, but if you're not in a higher vibrational state by protecting your vibration, by doing your self-love practices, maybe going, this could be going to bed early so you can wake up early the next day so you're more refreshed. Do you work better in the morning or do you work better late at evening? You have to figure out what are the cycles? Where do you feel the most creative? And if you need to, I gotta tell you about this. For the last couple of days, I've had a headache. This is day three, this headache has continued. And I was like, oh, is this because I'm in a new house and I'm feeling the energies and I've ordered all, a whole collection of like essential oils and, um, incense and white sage from Amazon, which will come tonight, but I like feel like I've been hit in the back of the head. Hit in the back of the head. What does that mean? Like someone is like two-faced? You've been knocked unconscious? Unconscious? Have you been unconscious and now you need time to take away from this? Are you seeing things from a different perspective? What does this mean? 
Okay, Four of Swords is like rest, but I feel that in terms of like the giver spoon, I feel like this is working smarter and not harder, putting yourself in a higher vibrational state. Instead of saying like, I've got eight hours to do this, blah, 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 blah. What if you were to go for a run in the morning and it only took you four to do all of your work because your brain is like at maximum capacity instead of like half-assing your way through it. I hope that means something for you. I don't know if I'm reading this right. I kind of feel weird. All right, so Wednesday is... Ooh, okay, so we have the Page of Cups. This is a lot to do with emotions this week. The Page is, is also breathing, and it's also... This is so weird. Big wheels keep on turning. So it's like if you... So things are gonna, okay, so, well, this is so interesting to read for the trusting phase of the moon. It's like, okay, you're still doing the work, but I feel like you really need to slow it down come Wednesday to Thursday, well, so far anyway. And this is a time where you are working smarter and not harder. You are either, however the resting looks like for you. I don't know, do you need to take a nap? You know, yesterday Peter and I napped together and we haven't done that. It's like, it's, three and a half years. We did that in our first year of our relationship when he was doing like split shifts and needed to have the afternoon sleep. And the page of cups is just breathing. It's just like, every time I see it, it reminds me of drinking tea, like tea, but I don't have my chai tea latte here because it costs 50 bucks to ship it to England from Australia. What the hell? Tea and spice, you really need to sort out your shipping. My goodness. Um, page of Cups, this is breathing with ease, but we're not in the breathing with ease and giving back from a place of love. But this is, I just feel like for Wednesday and Thursday so far, it's like you need to work smarter and not harder. You don't always have to be grinding, you know? You don't always have to be pounding away. You can, you can have a sleep in. Oh, the other thing that I have been learning about is void moons. Holy flip, let me just get out my calendar because I put void moons in for the next two weeks. Void moons are interesting. Ah, there's a void moon on Thursday and there's one on Tuesday. Okay, it's interesting because I've been learning about void moons because I I get, I get schedule people in for um, free strategy sessions and for coaching. And I've noticed whenever I schedule someone doing a void moon, which is a time in which the moon moves from one sign of the zodiac to another and it's that in-between shift. Think of it like, black and white, it's the gray area in between, it hasn't really made up its mind, it hasn't been, it hasn't fully committed to something. It's that in between time. And I've noticed when I've scheduled people, even friends for a call, like just to catch up and whatever, when I've scheduled it during that time, they don't turn up or that something happens and they're super delayed, which is a really good time I think of them now as like balsamic moon time is like slowing it down. And it's interesting that there's actually a void moon for about 12 hours on Thursday, but depending on where you are in the world, I have it on the app Deluxe Moon. It tells you the times of the void moons. Um, that's actually a paid app. Maybe if you want me, I can show you how to use it next week. I can do a screen share and show you how to use it. There's actually three void moon four, three void moons. So there's one for like an hour and a half on Tuesday night. So that's six, well, it's hard because the void moons on, on Google Calendar, you can't put in the exact time. You have to put like five minutes around, which is a pain in the butt. But basically I've got from 6.30 to 8 p.m. on Tuesday the 14th. Remember, I'm on Greenwich Mean Time. I'm um, GMT plus one in London. And then there's another one on Thursday from 10.30 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. So Thursday is interesting because we got the Page of Cups, which is, you know, take time to just breathe. I now look at void moons as a time to tidy up loose ends. Um, yeah, this is so interesting that this is what's coming up. And there's also another void moon on Saturday night from 10 p.m. until 2.30 a.m. on Sunday. But download the, the app Deluxe Moon and you'll be able to see all of them and it will figure it out for your time zone. That's interesting. Okay, so Friday, what do we need to know for Friday? 
Was there a card flipped over? No. All right, angels, can we have one card for Friday for my MK Love fam? Give us moon. What do they need to know? There's actually two. I'll get the one that fell down if I need the other one popping up. Oh, okay. So we have the moon. Trust that we are healing. Trust, because that was the big focus, wasn't it, last week? Trust that we're healing. Trusting that we're healing. Yeah. We're on the right path. Remember, the moon card is like taking off the mask of who you used to be in this last, in this chapter, but you have to close it before you can really commit to what's coming. If you keep reading the old pages going like, blah, 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 this is what happened, but it's, you're never going to be able to move forward. It's like, are you at the stage where you can close the chapter and you say, thank you, thank you, thank you. What's the lesson in all of this? What do I need to know to grow, to heal, to evolve and to become this new fabulous you that you are creating? I'm going to pull the other card that came out with that one as well. Oh, Ace of Wands. Okay, so you're beginning a new chapter. Wands is your creative talents and abilities, working with and for people that you love. That kind of just flowed because I used to have this quote from Louise L. Hay when I was struggling to be like, what am I going to do with my life? Blah, 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 blah. And she's like, I'm forever conscious. No, that's a different one. I'm forever conscious of my true worth. I give my talents with love. No, that was somebody different. Anyways. So you're beginning something new trusting that as you're going through this new area you may be struggling you're trying to figure out who you are I've just got such a big headache and I don't know if this is me or if this is the universe or what am I reading because it's you guys I'm going to keep going on until I pull the card of the week I feel like sometimes I feel like now I need to pull the card of the week first to tell the story Okay, so Saturday is the full moon, which is interesting that that's coming up on Friday as you're preparing to celebrate. I don't know, because remember, I'm, I'm now confused with the faces of the moon because now I see them differently. And then I heard the song, I bruise easily, so be gentle when you handle me. There's a mark you leave when you love her, dun, 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 dee. Easily. That was Natasha Benningfield. That song actually came up recently. I bruise easily. Natasha Benningfield. Um, my skin is like a map where my heart has been. And I can hide the marks, but it's not a negative thing. So I lay my gut down, drop my defenses. I don't know how the tune goes down by my clothes i'm learning to fall with no safety net to question the blow i bruise easily so be gentle when you handle me there's a mark you leave when you love when a love heart carved by a tree carved by a tree that's this card this is literally a tree no, she's not a tree, but she's surrounded by trees. What's the next bit? Eyebrows easily, can't scratch the surface without moving me underneath eyebrows easily. I found your fingerprints on a glass of wine. Do you know you're leaving them all over this heart of mine too? If I never take this leap of faith, I'll never know. So I'm learning to fall with no safety net to cushion the blow. <sighs> oh, there was, a, there was a line back then where it says anyone who can touch you can hurt you or heal you. What? Anyone who can reach you can love you or leave you, so be gentle. Shipples. I bruise easily, so be gentle. I love Natasha Benningfield. So I feel like we really need to be, I feel like we really need to be gentle with ourselves during this time. As we're healing, we're transforming, we're becoming this new fabulous souls that we have 
known deep down that we were always going to be. We're just going through this massive transition and we have to be really, be gentle on ourselves. I can listen to that song all day. Okay, so. I'm confused. I think I got these cards mixed up now. Was the last card I pulled? One, two, three, four, five. Was the moon? And then that was with the Ace of Wands. Okay. So I haven't pulled a card for Saturday yet? Oh, I just heard a song. Oh, I don't know. I've lost it, guys. Whoa. Okay. So, Saturday. Ooh, okay. So we got the Eight of Pentacles. This is like a lot of hard work that you've done. Think of this like Charlotte's Web. But that's a really sad movie. Um, so it's like the spider has has done a lot of the groundwork, which is interesting because this is a time to celebrate how far you have come. This is a time where you could be, I feel birthing, birthing something new. You've taken action. You're just like celebrating that you have done the work and that you're going to continue to do the work, but you're doing this work differently. This is not like how you used to do it because you're not who you used to be. If you look back to who you were a week ago, you're completely different. You know, things have happened. People have mirrored things to you and you are learning to, you're learning that you do bruise easily and you're learning to protect yourself. However, that looks like for you. I feel protection. Protecting your heart. I just keep going back to I bruise easily. Because I'm not sure, because this would normally be a release. But now I'm looking at this as a time of celebration. Celebrating how far you have come. Celebrating that you truly are fabulous. And celebrating that you are on the journey to manifest all of that delicious goodness that you know that you're going to manifest. Remember a couple of weeks ago, or maybe last week, when we were talking about what was your intention for the new moon. And you were saying, I'm so happy and grateful now that whatever you're manifesting. It's like you look around you, like you have so much to be thankful for. I look at where I am now and I'm like, I was struggling two months ago, like really bad, really bad. And I, but the universe was just showing me an opportunity to grow and heal that I had missed. I was seeing things from a cycle that happened 10 years ago and I was seeing like, some of the debris that had been left behind that I thought I had dealt with, but clearly I was mirrored and triggered by someone. And I was like, this is an opportunity to grow and to heal. And I'm now looking and I'm, and I'm like, oh, I'm in this beautiful house in Winsford. I don't even, it's like 30 minutes south of Liverpool, but it's where I found a place where I know that I could be creative. I found a home in which I can do what I do best, which is help women heal their childhood traumas. And I'm, I just feel really grateful for where I'm at. And I'm sure you're feeling that too. You're celebrating how far you have come. And then I think ahead and I'm like, okay, I'm on the journey that this is my goal for the end of the year. And yeah, it has been delayed, but I know that I'm still going to be able to achieve it. And I'm learning to work smarter and not harder. Instead of like, you look at the seasons, you know, there's a time to reap and there's a time to sow. You look at the moon, the moon isn't like, boom, like illuminated all of the eight phases that Mama Moon goes through. You know, she's not, she's not at all. She goes through things. She takes time of introspection and then she takes time to bloom and you're in full bloom right now. So what does that look like for you in your life? Okay, so Sunday, what do we need to know for Sunday? This is a different reading this week. Okay, I've pulled two cards, but one actually fell out. So I'm gonna pull that one first, which is the two of cups. This is, this is a partnership. This could be a balance of divine masculine and divine feminine. This could be that divine masculine and feminine within you, in your relationships. This could be, this is balance. This is peace. And down the bottom, I also see Pisces, the two fish. But we're in Scorpio, so how does that work? Also, I've got some notes here that I took when I was watching Barbara Goldsmith. She's amazing. She channels the Palladians if you're into that. And I was taking some notes where she was talking about um, the full moon and 27 degrees of Scorpio. Scorpio, to me, whenever it comes up, Scorpio, it's got the tail, so it can really sting, which is interesting because you need to be very careful when you have those powers that you actually, your words have the power to 
totally destroy someone. So you need to choose your words carefully. And I have to be very careful with that too, being a fire sign, I'm just like, you know, last week we were like, that don't impress me much. I have the power to be really bold, which some people only see that side. You see a different side. You see the, oh, lovey, 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 MKR, boom, 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 boom. Um, anyways, I don't know where that was going. Let me just quickly read you the notes. So she's got um, six planets are in Earth during this time. Earth signs, three are in water. Maybe that's why I saw the Pisces. Pisces is a water sign. She said, appreciate Mother Earth. What kind of garden are you growing? Is it, um, does it need water? Is it thriving? Is it waterlogged? What do you need to release or surrender during this time? This is perfect for manifesting large sums of money. Unearth your creative talents and abilities. What is inside of you that is a precious treasure? Notice what you're taking, what things you're taking to personally. Scorpio is here to observe. Where are you stronger than you think you are? That were just the notes that I have written, but I listened to it such a long time that it doesn't really, I don't know, I just felt like I had to read it. But the other card that came with that one too is the Seven of Cups, which is the possibilities. Um, this is also imagination, but this is also like dreaming big. What is it that you're celebrating? You're celebrating that this is where you're at, but you know that this is the dream. You're, you're on the journey to manifest your dream life. It could be something as simple if you're trying to restore your body to its natural weight. You're, how do you find the balance? The balance could be you're now seeing food as a form of nutrients and you're seeing food as an opportunity to nourish and love yourself on a completely different level. And you're now seeing exercise as a way to help you manifest super flipping quick, but it also helps to make you stronger and it makes you feel unstoppable. In terms of the seven in cups and your dreaming, which is interesting because this is, well, this is about relationships. But I feel like this is relationships with other people. But the seven of cups could be like, someone could be saying to you, uh, you may be, okay, don't take advice from people who aren't living your dream life. Like, honestly, don't. Most of these people are gonna be your family members and they want you to stay where you are because that's comfortable for them. If you rise to the top, you're mirroring to them things that they don't have and that they probably want and could be very envious and they wanna squash it down. I notice that whenever I'm going through a transformation and things are shifting, people around me, well, my husband is very supportive, but there are other people in my family who are not very supportive and they don't see the vision. But if you're strong enough in your conviction, you will rise to the top. I remember when I first started my YouTube channel, my sister said to me, you're gonna get so much hate, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, you looked at the comments on my channel, nothing but pure positive energy because I'm a vibrational match to attract you guys, you know? Long story short, we're at 29 minutes and I haven't pulled the card of the week. So this is about partnership and this is about dreaming big and the possibilities. Celebrating though. Celebrating that you've... You're, are you working with somebody to help get you to where you want to be? Have you saying like... Oh, okay. Card of the week. Ha, ah, the fool. <laughs> and that reminded me of last week's song. I'm like a bird, I want to fly away. I don't know where my soul is. I don't know where my home is. It's like you're taking that leap of faith to trust my instincts. I'm, I close my eyes and leap. It's time to try to find gravity. Yeah, you're defying gravity. That song keeps coming up. Like I just feel like the same things, lessons week after week keep coming up, but just coming up in different cards. This is a lot of you celebrating where you're at, working smarter and not harder, resting. You don't need to grind. You don't need to like hustle. You need to align yourself with the right vibration. And when you're taking time to just, you know, I don't know, have a bubble bath. That's what I've been doing. I'm having, not bubble baths, I've been having like just baths and just feeling so much more different and just really taking it easy on myself to just settle into where I am and be like, okay, I don't know. What am I trying to say? I feel like I'm like all over the shop today. Taking action. We're trusting and we're celebrating how far you have come. You're also healing too. So you need to be gentle. Be easy on me. On me. Jesse J. Go easy on me. 
Oh my God, the end of that song just breaks my heart because she does a voiceover from a phone call that her grandfather left for her. Um, be easy on me, Jesse J. Oh, it's just called Easy On Me. I grow up, but I'm la bum 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 You are the most beautiful when you're but new. Um, I'll make money. Da, da, da. For me, for me, for me, for me, for me. Um, I show up, I glow up, blossom little rose. You are the most beautiful when you're but new. I pray up, I stay up. What is life in all these clothes? Sometimes I don't know. I don't know how the chorus goes. Um, I'll make money, share my time. I need something to be mine. For me, for me, for me, for me, for me. I'm impatient, give me space. Always working far away. For me, for me, for me, for me, for me. Please don't be so hard, so hard on my heart. I'm a delicate flower trying to grow inside. Please don't be, oh, please don't be so cold. Be patient while I grow. I want to try. I won't always get it right, but I need you to know, go easy on me. I gave up, I got up. I'm my daddy's little girl. Hear my mother in her words. I'm staying true. Okay, so basically the two songs that I want you to listen to for this week is Easy On Me from Jesse J and I Bruise Easily. Those songs are basically just saying that you really need to align and not hustle and however that looks like for you wow my loves thank you so much for joining me for this week's weekly angel guidance and if you have any comments or any thoughts about what's come up for you please let me know because i would love to hear from you and if you're joining me on the live chat thank you thank you thank you so much for taking time out of your day to be here collectively as a beautiful mk love fam because that's one of the highlights of my weeks to just chat back with you and to see how you're going and to see how you're transforming and what your life is looking like at this period of time. Anyways, my love, if you're new to the MK Love fam, make sure you hit that red subscribe button and turn on the bell so you're notified every single time the live chat begins because we would love to have you here. Um, yeah, my loves, thanks so much for watching. Join me over on Instagram. I'm gonna be doing some different things on my Insta stories this week, and I would love for you to get involved and have an amazing week, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs>